Hello all, welcome back to channel. This is D square and today I, I will show you how to find factor of safety and what is the importance of factor of safety in reality. Okay, so I'm starting. First I need to assemble a two part. Okay, first one is clamp and second one is port. This is my clamp and this is port. Now I need to make a assembly relation like in mate and click here bottom diameter and ID of the port. Now go to here reverse click right now choose this face and bottom face of the port okay now this is defined now change the background plain white okay so just fine assembly new study right now we are doing here the factor of safety okay fine the factor of safety so first uh, what is the factor of safety and what is the importance of it so i am taking so this is my port and clamp first uh, i am talking about the factor of safety so i am taking an uh, example I need to design a beam. The maximum load is uh, 30 kg. That beam have to handle it. Okay, so what I can do? I have to make a design that beam hold the load more than 30 kg. It can be 60 kg, 70 kg, 80 kg. It is up to you. But uh, you need to design more than the actual load right so in the future if load is increased that time beam won't fall because you design factor of safety as more than one so if uh, i make a design and that can hold the actual load uh, that is 30 kg so the factor of safety is one if uh, I made a design and uh, take a 60 kg holding beam, so the factor of safety is uh, 2 because our uh, main application load is 30 kg. So we are doing uh, 60 kg. So it means the factor of safety is uh, 2. So the minimum factor of safety is uh, always more than 1. So this is the what is this is the factor of safety and how we can calculate it. So in this case, uh, we are doing test on uh, the port holder and uh, the port. So right now I choose uh, port holder material that is uh, ductile iron and uh, the port is uh, make. Uh, Road stainless steel because uh, my need is right now to make uh, this port is uh, heavier, so I choose that metal only. So, like evaluate and uh, mass property now, clear it and uh, choose the port only. Here, you can see that the mass is uh, 8.4 kgs, right? So, I am cancel it okay so if in reality i fix the clamp with the hole and put ports on the holder that time the dead load of port is uh, 8.4 kgs but uh, we have to calculate the gravity also because we are living on earth right now so 
we need to calculate gravity also so connection is uh, this is the default connection we can made and this is default my connection okay so fixture is fix fixture and i am fix it so id all that is for bolting or screwing and the edge is also okay now fine these are the fixed and uh, fixed on the hole now external load right right click and uh, get your gravity we need the gravity in downward direction so right click here clear section and choose your bottom part okay so we need to uncheck a reward direction okay now it's fine okay now right click mesh create mesh and choose mesh parameter and get here curvature base mesh because this is fully curvature based structure here okay mesh is completed now go to here simulation and run the study okay so running is completed first my need is find the factor of safety so right click on result and get here define factor of safety plot now click the arrow once more okay then right here okay so here you can see that the factor of safety here minimum factor of safety is 5.7 it means my factor of safety is more than one so this structure can hold more than 8.4 kgs load right now here double click on the chart and so here minimum and maximum annotation get here floating click right okay so here in the bottom shows my minimum factor of safety and the top shows my maximum factor of safety so this is my factor of safety by this load uh, our port load is uh, 8.4 kg right so if i put this load ports on this structure or frame so it will easily carry the port and won't fall because the factor of safety is more than one and it is 5.7 it okay so if when i change the material here you can see the factor of safety right now i am changing the material edit material here and i am changing here other metal and changing pure silver okay here you can see that the mass density of pure silver is one one triple zero kg per meter cube apply and close it okay now run the study again okay go to your factor of safety okay here clearly you can see that the minimum factor of safety is 4.2 kg because our load is more than the previous load here we can find our actual load right now is evaluate measure no mass property here clear it and uh, okay it don't show here right now because it won't refresh it okay forget it so here uh, you can see that the my factor of safety is uh, changes it shows the 4.227 and uh, my displacement also changed double click on displacement and so minimum maximum annotation and get here floating and okay now right so this is my maximum displacement is a 0.593 if i animated it 
I'm just doing 25 okay once more I'm doing 25 and play it again so this is my maximum displacement when I put the ports on the holder so this holder going downside and that is uh, distance is uh, 0.593 mm okay right now I just doing my previous material so my previous material is in steel and I use a uh, road stainless steel and the uh, mass density is 8000 kg per meter cube apply and close now run this study again yes so here we, here we can see that the maximum displacement is now decreases because uh, our load is also decreases just inmate it right so here maximum displacement is uh, 0.435 mm and uh, find the factor of safety is uh, also increases because our load is decreases so factor of safety is uh, 5.730 so this is my factor of safety if uh, i applied more than more load so it, it, there is a chance to structure will fail but uh, right now in 8.4 kg my structure won't fail and uh, it will run perfectly so right now our port uh, load is uh, 8.4 kg so this is the working of factor of safety and how to find and how to calculate the factor of safety so this is very important topic in uh, reality also because when we are making something in a uh, model in uh, reality so we need to check the factor of safety and uh, our model is uh, applicable or not uh, for uh, that types of loading so this is the how the factor of safety works okay so like share and subscribe our video thank you all